Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Let's discuss another method to solve ordinary differential equations numerically, and the method is Hewn's method. This method is also applicable to solve initial value problems of order one. So we can also solve the system of initial value problems like we discussed in the video of Euler's and Arki method. So first of all, we are going to have the OD of the form this this is first order od with one initial condition the first step to solve the problem using hume's method is like the same we have to isolate the derivative in this example this is the particular first order ordinary differential equation with condition of y at 0 is equal to 5 so first step is going to be isolate the dy by dt on the left hand side and the thing on the right hand side is going to be f of t y the function of time and the y dependent variable this is the function that we will use in our problem now let's move toward the Hume's method the Hume's method is also known as modified Euler method so we are not going into the proof of this method you can always see the proof in the book of Matthews and Fink you can see the first step the first iterative step in the Hume's method is same like the Euler's method this is basically Euler's method and based on this step we will compute the value of y at next time level at next step and you can see in this next iterative step this pn plus 1 which is computed in the previous step is utilized so in the iteration number 1 you will be having n is equal to 0 you will plug n is equal to 0 in the first step also in the second in the first step you will get some p1 and this y0 will be known from initial condition t0 will be known from initial condition h will be given or you will choose the h so based on this p1 we will compute y1 and in this step t1 is going to be next time level which will be computed from this formula t at any n is equal to t naught plus n times step size in the second iteration you can see I will plug n is equal to 1 in the main formula and I will get something like this and in this step y1 is known from the previous iteration y1 is computed in previous iteration while t1 and t2 are computed from again this formula all the other iterations will proceed in similar manner until we arrive at required value of dependent variable of y at some desired value of independent variable t so let's have an example in this example we are given with an initial value problem with some initial condition we have to we are uh, known uh, we have the value of y at 0 and we want to compute the value at y of y at 0 0.2 using the step size 0 0.1 so there will be two iterations in total in the first iteration we will reach at y at 0 0.1 and in the second iteration we will reach y at 0 0.2 first of all i have to isolate the first derivative after that i will get my function f of t y from y of 0 is equal to 5 we know that y naught is 5 and t naught is 0 this is t naught initial value of independent variable iteration number one just like uh, we discussed earlier so i will plug all the values i know what is y naught i know what is step size i know i have to compute f at t naught y naught which is 0 and 5 i will plug plug uh, 0 instead of t in the function and 5 instead of y in the function this function and I will get something like this and the final answer of p1 is minus 4.3 based on this p1 
I will compute y1 and I also know what is going to be t1, t1 is going to be t0 plus n times h, n is 1 uh, like I want to compute t1, so n is 1, so t1 is 0 0.1. Now y1 is going to be like this and I will plug all the values uh, h f at 0 0.5 f at 0 0.1 t1 p1 is going to be 0 0.1 minus 4 so in the function I will plug 0 0.1 instead of t and minus 4.3 in place of y and I will get y1 this is my y1 y1 is uh, also y at t1 which is y at 0 0.1 so I just computed y at 0 0.1 but I have to go towards y at 0 0.2 so I will proceed and do the second iteration the second iteration the procedure is same I will compute p2 and this p2 will be utilized to compute y2 and the answer of y2 is this which is y at t2 which is y at 0 0.2 and this is my final answer now our next step is to make the MATLAB code of this method for the MATLAB code, I just open the code of Euler's method and we will modify this Euler method. Also, Hume's method is known as modified Euler method. So basically, we are modifying the Euler method. Everything else is same. So I am just copying this code into new script file. A function I will take as input from user because these are basic ingredients. T0 I will take as an input from user. Y0 I will take as input from user step size I will take as input from user tn is the last time at which the user want to evaluate the solution I will take this as input from user and based on this tn I will know how much iteration I am going to have so this tn minus t0 divided by h will define my total number of iteration now I am initializing the vectors of t and y so the t first value is going to be initial value of time and y first value will be initial value of uh, dependent variable that the user gave us and we will start the iteration so this iteration is basically the iteration of Euler's method so in the Euler's method we do uh, first we do compute the p p at i plus 1 is going to be y at i plus h time f at t i comma y i you can also see from here you can just replace the n with i here i wrote the formula with indices n so in the code i am writing with i for obvious reason because uh, in the code i used n as the total number of iteration one to n so this was my first step of hume's method and then this is going to be my second step y at i plus 1 how I will compute y to compute y at i plus 1 I also should have no t at i plus 1 so I will write the line of y at i plus 1 after this uh, line number 10 like after finding the t at i plus 1 because t at i plus 1 will be utilized to compute y at i plus 1 so y at i plus 1 is going to be y at i plus h divided by 2 steric something y at i into h divided into something this something is basically function value at t i comma y i and function value at t i plus 1 plus comma p i plus 1 so inside this bracket I should write this function value at t i comma y i plus function value at t i plus 1 comma p i plus 1 so after that if I want to see the final in uh, output in some formatted output so I will use f print f command y at percentage uh, I am seeing this up to two decimal places and the answer up to four decimal places so at this t the value of y will be this so this t is directly linked with this t is directly 
linked with this up to two dps and this y is linked with this and plus uh, backslash n is showing the change of line so let's run this code and let me save, uh, save this code with the name humes okay so let's give the function as an input so our function is t comma y at the rate t comma y with minus 20 y minus 20 static y plus 7 times exponential of minus 0 0.5 static t i guess 7 times exponential of minus 0 0.5 static t this is my function initial value of independent variable is 0 in our case and dependent variable is 5 in our case step size is 0 0.1 in our case and we want to compute the solution as 0 0.2 and you can see the two iterations just the same answers that we got here 4.9829 and 4.9667 but this code is general we can compute as many iteration as we want so let's run this code again and now with the same initial condition same step size let's compute the solution at 1 so we are going to have 10 iterations now so y at 0 0.1 is this, 0 0.2 is this, 0 0.3 is this and that's it. Uh, so many people ask about plotting uh, in Euler's method and RK method. So let me explain the plotting in this video. So at the end of this loop, you are going to have two vectors like t and y. You can also see in the workspace, I have t vector, uh, which is the vector of time and I have the y vector. You can see from here let me open this vector so this t vector is going to have all the values of time and independent variable and uh, this y vector is going to have all the values of dependent variable so you can we can use the plot because the dimensions of these two vectors are same so we can use plot t comma y at the end of this loop that's it no big deal so with this one command we will also get the value of sorry not the value the plot so let's run this code again and initial value of independent variable let's give the same problem keep in mind you can solve any problem any initial value problem using this code so let's compute the solution till y at 2 so we will be having 20 iterations now okay after the 20 iteration i will have this nice plot from 0 to 2 this is the behavior of our solution at 0 it is satisfying the initial condition at 0 the answer is 5 and it is decreasing with respect to time the reason is obvious because the exponential function used in this problem have negative in it so there will be exponential decay in this problem in this particular problem okay that's it that's all about Hume's method if you find any difficulty in understanding these lines inside the code you can refer to the video of Euler's method I have explained uh, this thing in very detail in those uh, methods so see you people in next video if you are new on this channel please hit the subscribe button thank you